right, guys. I thought this would be a casual evening on the lake. Shoot me an instructional, informational video. You know, just have a little fun and fish. But this happened. Dun, dun, dun. So basically, now we're stuck in the or in the sand, and we're waiting on Allstate or AAA to come get us, whoever they're sending or whatever. But they're gonna come pull us out. In the meantime, y'all guys know me. I never let up. I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna actually get ahead with this video. What we're doing today is we're gonna do a informational video, sort of a challenge. I'm going to show you guys how to fish from beginner to pro uh, and how to catch these different reels. We have our closed face reel here, the Zepco. We have our open face reel, which is also called a spinning rod. Um, that's a uh, pin rack. And then here we have a bait casting reel. Most professional bass fishermen use these. Uh, this one is a Abu Garcia bait caster, the Pro Max. Uh, it's pretty. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorites here now. Well, heck, while I'm waiting on AAA, man, let's jump right into the video and start showing you guys how to fish. Let's get started with the Zepco. Well, guys, I hope the wind isn't too crazy. And I stepped out into the wetlands. So guys, with this rod, and like I said, I hope the wind isn't too bad right now. I'm gonna try to talk loud enough. With this rod, all you do is push the button on the bottom. Let me reel that up for you. All you push, do is push the button on the bottom and release and it drops. A key thing, one big mistake that I see most people do when they have big troubles out of this thing is they reel it in with no weight on it and they don't put pressure on this line. You should usually like just put your finger up, your thumb over the line, reel it in, or just kind of hold on to the line and reel it up so that when it goes back into the spool, it doesn't get in there all loose. And that's how I see a lot of people get all tangled up, breaking line off and all of that. So keep that in mind when you're using a closed face. Other than that, everything's easy peasy. Press the button. When you cast, you Release at the top of your can uh, swing. Dang, that wind is not a joke. Damn, I hope I don't lose my, okay, there we go. Let's try this again, guys. I got a heavy weight on here, but, so you press the button and you release at the top of your cast. So it's just like if you were throwing a rock, you know what I mean? So if you're throwing a rock, you kind of release at the front of your motion. When you come, the front of your motion. Let's reel in and see if we can get a fish. I know it'd be a challenge to keep fishing with this man and see if I can catch a fish, but I really don't want to hook up with a big bass on this little flimsy rod. It'd be a fun fight, but whew, I don't think I'm ready. I'm liking this jig out here, man. That's why I haven't given up on it yet. Let that drop, sink. Hopefully something pick it up on the fall. I got hung up on somebody's line. That's no good. There we go. That's the sign that says, quit it. Hey guys, don't mind that guy. That's just James. McBassin, the bass assassin. So this is the spinning reel, as I said. Uh, it is used for a number of applications. You can pretty much use this for anything almost. Uh, different sizes for different situations, but they're good pretty much all around. Before I get into how to cast it, I'm gonna talk about the bait I have on. I have on a Guggen Baits uh, Bandito bug here on a Texas rig. Uh, I'm gonna pitch that out. Hopefully that's a heavy enough weight to deal with this current. So with the open face reel or spinning reel, you wanna grab hold of the line. Make sure you got a nice grip on it. 
you flip the bell back. This wire here is called a bell. You flip that back and it allows you to drop the line and release the line. Also, you kind of want to, the same thing with this, you kind of want to like, if it's loose, you kind of want to keep hold your, hold your line while you reel it as well. But same thing goes for the cast though. Instead of releasing the button, you just release your finger off the line at the top of your swing. So let's go for it. Flip the bell back. That off there, right there. Flip that bell back, holding the line. And when you cast, just let go of your finger at the top of your swing. Let's go for it again. Finger on the line, holding the line with that bell back. Just like when you're throwing a rock, you release your finger from it. That's simple as pie, man. Got a good enough weight on there, we can uh, reel that back in without having to put my finger over it. Let's see if I can get a good cast out there though. Let's go side on. Man, this wind is crazy. Let's try this again, man. Like I said, with this wind, I hope I don't have to trash my video. I hope this uh, audio is coming through clear enough and I hope that you guys are getting the example of what I'm doing. So you just cast. Man. All right, and it looks like my daylight is creeping off on me really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the bait caster. And this, guys, is my bait caster. It's on the Texas rig as well, but I got it with a barber stop and a, a trench hog, Guggen Bait trench hog. So this one, I'm way more comfortable fishing with this because this is what I use every day, all day, every day, except for special applications. Uh, I don't really consider myself a pro, but a lot of people do, you know, but most of those people aren't fishermen. <laughs> so the bait caster, you, you wanna keep your thumb over this spool right here. Wanna keep your thumb over the spool. And uh, you know, it, it reels the same. And just like the push button, uh, closed face reel, you press the button, it releases the spool. You press the button, well, let me tighten this up. You press the button, you take your thumb off and it releases the spool. Now, the thing that happens with this is if that weight stops, if the weight of this bait hits something, hits the water, and, and it breaks this momentum, you'll wind up with all this line just bird nest and what they call a bird nest. It'll backlash all off the reel and just go, go haywire. And then you waste half your fishing day trying to clear it up. Now, it's a lot of fun, man. You can set your brakes. I usually keep mine on a medium setting and adjust it from there depending on what how heavy a weight I'm throwing. Uh, and this here is your, uh, this here is your spool tensioner. You, you adjust that enough. Normally this is what I, uh, what I tell people. You, uh, you want it loose enough to where it drops fast and it doesn't unravel too much. See, that's a baby bird nest. I'm gonna tighten it just a hair. In a later video, I'll talk to you guys about how to get out nasty bird's nests. And it's same thing, man, is when you release, you want to do the same thing and release it with at the top of your throw, like you're throwing a rock, top of your motion. Anytime you're casting a fishing rod, that's when you want to release it, at the front of your motion. At the top, if you're throwing side on front of your motion. Me, this is why they call me Bass Sniper, because I'm deadly with casting these. I took a break from fishing a couple years ago and just wasn't really getting out doing it. I had a lot of other pressures on me, but uh, came back and wasn't really confident in my cast, but and it's like riding a bike, it comes back to you. Look at that cast, man. Whew. That bait caster, man, I love it. Bass sniper. But again, this wind is hell. I mean, I can get to where I want to better in, with the bait caster than I can with those other rods. That and because my rod is more stiff, like I like it. You know, you just fish this thing out. Yeah, you just toss this thing out, man, and reel it back in. Likewise. Now this, I never have a problem with having to 
you know, hold, hold my line, you know, reeling it in. For some reason, I don't know the physics of that, but you never get any problems uh, with a tight spool if you're not, if it's not much weight on there. Probably because the fact that if you don't have much weight on there, you're probably gonna get a backlash off top anyway. And I whipped this sucker, man. I'm much more comfortable fishing with a bait caster. Us pros. Yeah, I'm gonna try to drag this thing across these rocks, man. See if a bass picks it up. Be nice to have some instruction and a fish on the video. Just dragging across those rocks, man. Oh, in case I wasn't very clear, because I might have skipped a step for you, just getting excited to fish with this bait caster. What you want to do is before that bait hits anything, before it hits the water, and if you see it about to hit like a bridge overhead or a tree or something, always press your thumb on the line, on the spool, put it on the spool. When you cast, just before it hits the water, boom, stop that spool. Sometimes it'll be a little loose. I always tend to back up off of it and come back. That, that'll give that bait a little time to sink if that's what you want. And then just go to reeling in, man. But you always want, before the momentum of the cast stops, you want to thumb that line, thumb that spool, man. You want to thumb that spool. That way you don't get a backlash. And most people who do get a backlash, they forget that part or they don't know that part and it's hell. I'm still waiting on AAA or Allstate to show up, whoever's coming. So guys, that pretty much does it for my instructional. I'm gonna march on up out of here. I'm losing daylight. Um, I hope you guys got a lot of information with that. Actually, you know, I had a lot of requests for such a video, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Hopefully that was informational enough for you guys, man. And Keep sticking with me, man. I'm, I'm, I'll put out more videos like this, man. Come out, comment, you know, comment on my videos. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll, and I, I'll, I'll put it on, on, on tape for you, man. I put it on TV for you, as my late cousin Kenny said. Uh, by the way, man, I'd like to dedicate this video to my cousin who passed away last week or a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was really tough on me. I kind of slowed down on pretty much everything I was doing. But, hey, he would want me to keep going, and I'm pretty much doing this for him now, man. Like, I hate that he didn't get to live with me and do the things that are going to be coming up, the things I got coming up in the future. But, hey, he's with me in spirit, and, you know, I know he'll be proud of me. But I'm going to throw my line out a little bit more for you guys while I wait on the winch service to pull me out of this sand. Uh, Till next time, guys, never let up. Keep on fishing, guys. Service is the morning. Tomorrow's on the phone. I was like, okay, dude. I was like, Morty, I gotta hang up. My dad called me service. I was like, Yeah, we could have pushed it. Like, we got some. Yeah, it was like, it was like, when I was on the phone, the wheel tight the other way. It did. Keys? He putting it in drive, James.